test 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 okay i can hear myself great all right we're back with shadow drone returns um okay dude i think we're almost done with this game i think i don't know my my campaign can't percentage thing says I'm like at 78 percent but who knows uh, I need to pause this video it's actually pretty good uh all right where were we yesterday right 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 I started this mission uh yeah we, we killed all those fucking all those bugs oh my god dude so many bugs okay um <laughs> All right, this game, I don't know how I'm starting to feel about it. I mean, it's, I, as a game overall, I think it's okay. I think it is an okay game. I have played many worse games. Uh, the only thing that's just killing me is just the random bugs and glitches that we're finding. Dude. And, and even if we get past that, that bug percentage thing yesterday is fucking dumb. Okay, I'm gonna also try not to cuss as much because I've been kind of going a little overboard on him. I'm sorry, I will try to dial it back a bit. Um, yeah, I think it's just dumb. Like, I like playing, like, strategy games where I have to use my brain and all of that. And I like thinking and reading and all of that. That's great and all, but... But, like, leading... A hit to a complete per like just chance and just having to start over and over and just doing nothing skill based is dumb. Like this is not fun. <laughs> like, oh my god, bro. Uh, I I still can't believe we got through that fight yesterday. I honestly thought we were not gonna get through it. I was like, yeah, there's way too many bugs that I'm not gonna fucking kill all. All of them, and especially with that mechanic of hitting four hits and not missing one, and then killing the boss at the same time, like, oh my god, I, yeah, I have no idea how we got through that, but whatever. I mean, I guess it's a little, it's, it's kind of skill based that I got through it in the first place. I have no idea how I did it. I think, yeah, I don't know. I'm surprised I haven't started over, like, I didn't start over that fight yesterday or that fight a couple of days ago. Also, I'm sorry if uh, I keep putting like. 0.5 and 0.8 it's just like same uh, part of the same day but i keep running into bugs where i either have to restart my stream because if i have to like it forces me to quit out of the game and if i quit out of the game it forces me to quit streaming so then i have to start a new stream i don't know this is dumb all right let's just keep going i i, I want to just i, I kind of just want to finish this game so i can start my i can start the <laughs> The path, Pathfinder, right, the Wrath of the Righteous, or whatever. I just want to start that game already, but I don't want to start it until I can close this game out of my mind and just finish this chapter off and just not not look back until the second game. I guess let's 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 finish this up. All right. And after we broke up the ritual, Embrix chased Jessica into the small chamber where she was cornered by a couple of buggers. Guess they weren't impressed with her performance. They were about to. They were about to eat her. And? And Ambrick says something like, I won't let them meet you, Jessica. You're coming with me. You're going to pay for what you've done. It was very dramatic. Oh, yeah, that's right. I saved her. I saved her last night. Okay. Uh, then we splattered the bugs and handed her over to the U UCAS FBI. You're going to want to have a long talk with her about the, U the Brotherhood. So this nest is cleaned out. And your cousin Lynn is being transported to a mental hospital. Oh, fuck. I accidentally exited, uh, I, I ac accidentally <laughs> continued, I didn't read the rest of that, I didn't scroll down. Hold on, I wanna, I wanna read all of it, I, I, I kinda don't wanna miss, I, at least I, the, this story is kind of interesting, I guess, so I'll give it that. Okay, blah, blah, wait, did I just skip it again? Fuck, dude, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> okay, okay, let's start again, alright. <clears throat> 
Uh, okay, let's let's not skip it again. After this one, this one. Okay, right here. Wait. Yeah, and Lynn is being transported to a mental hospital for observation. Wait, was that it? James assesses you with a newfound respect. Oh, I guess I did finish reading it. That was weird. Very clean. I believe our test of Project Aegis was a success. Ambrix, her, her rock house is having it weaponized for distribution now to night errant forces. The authorities are going to have a great many questions about this incident, and I will need to provide details. The Universal Brotherhood has a great many chapter houses, and they must be dealt with immediately. Oh, I gotta go to kill more bugs? Bro. What happened next? That is for others to determine. People other than you, still. You have turned in a Yao Man's effort, and regardless of your obvious flaws, you're deserving of a reward. What, else, what would you ask of me? I hear you have an opening for a new VP of security. Not much, just McClug's ba McCluskey's badge. I want to get paid real money. I kind of want money. <laughs> like I, These don't sound very appealing. Maybe this one, McCluskey's badge, sounds a little appealing because he's kind of a douche. But I want money because I, I just want to like just get some decent gear and just hit myself out and just mob. I just ask for money, dude. Whatever. He smiles an icy smile. I would expect no less from you. Mr. Quas, please uh, place a suitable bonus on our uh, friend's cret sticks. A bonus of such size that additional, that additional negotiations are unnecessary. I have no interest in furthering our relationship. I got a hundred thousand caperoonies. Holy fuck. Oh man, I kind of want to know what the other two rewards would have given me now. <laughs> he takes her cret sticks and slots it lots into his PDA. Looks like you two are best buddies now. Damn, and I got 21 karma right from yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Let me play this video. Stop reading. Okay, let's let's think. What do we want? Uh. Um, maybe a charisma. Maybe next spell casting. Maybe another deck, another decking. Get our, our level seven of decking. Very like Excalibur. Hmm. We get the uh, right. We were getting one more SMG. Let's probably get this last SMG here. Um. And then it's, I kind of want to get spellcasting, I guess, because spellcasting has been actually pretty good for us recently. Oh yeah, dude. I. <laughs> I didn't realize that aim helped your launcher thing for the spirits until like the very last fight, until like the last two bugs. I could have used it so long ago. I'm so dumb. <laughs> that I guess that's all. I that's that's also kind of my bad. I probably would have saved myself a lot of pain if I would have just used aim. Um, even mark target honestly probably would have, or really anything that just upped my accuracy would probably been a like saved headache. Uh, right, right, right. So, spellcasting and spellcasting here. And then we got four points left. I might just save the rest. Hmm. No, I just realized biotech isn't really, it's kind of a waste because you can get, can't you just get uh, medkits that heal you 100%? Why would I need bonus to hit points recovered when using a medkit if I already get healed 100%? <laughs> like, that doesn't make sense. Alright, that's, that's good right here. Holy fuck, everyone, we can talk to everyone here. Uh, Coyote's still alive. I could have sworn she died at some point. I could have sworn I left her. <laughs> Alright, let's start talking everyone counterclockwise, I guess. Guess that's, that's it, huh? You capture Sam's killer, and now he'll get his justice. <clears throat> guess so. Tough week, huh? Um... I've had worse. Gangers, hellhounds, amok mental patients, serial killers, ghouls, carpet deckers, extra dimensional bugs, and an army of corpse security. Yeah, I could use a nap. I bet. That's all she has to say about that? I bet. <laughs> Coyote grins first time. Well, I'm gonna grab Paco, head back to the Union, maybe watch a trot, trid, tried, or something, and I could use a long shower too. After that, back to destroying the BTL trade. Can I give up being a runner? You can learn business, take over Mrs. Kubota someday. 
She gets a twinkle on her eye. Someday, maybe. One, one the rest of my body is made of metal, too, but not today. Play around the shadows. Get paid, get dirty. See you around, Amber. You're quite a lady, I can honestly say. I've never met an elf quite like you. Alright, well, GG's. Goodbye. Okay, Harlequin. Painted elf is watching the scene of unfolding around the, the Brotherhood with a grimace. Well, kid, it's been fun, but I've seen everything I care to see today. I'm gonna get out of here. Mm, is there a problem? He gestures at the crowd as he speaks. Look around. Uh, note the members of the press being shuffled away by Brotherhood spokespeople to get a private briefing. The Brotherhood is connected. A damage control team is probably on the way right now. Think they can control the press? Does the press really matter? Uh, let's go with this one. One way or another, they will. If they can't be manipulated, coerced, or bribed, they'll probably disappear quietly. There's more, though. He nods his head towards James Telestrian. Note the expression on the UCAS FBI agent speaking to Telestrian. Dismissive, isn't it? That's because there's no love lost between the UCAS and the tier. They're not going to trust what he's telling them, and frankly, I have no idea what he's telling them. James play plays his own game, always has. I mean, he sounds like the guy that he would, so. Uh, do you trust him? Sounds like he doesn't. No, I don't think so. Just like I don't trust you. Don't take it personal, kid. You sh don't take it personal, kid. <laughs> you shouldn't trust me either. Uh, nothing personal, kid. <laughs> I've been manipulating runners like you for years. I'm manipulating you right now. You just don't know my game yet. Let's continue the dance. I have one more to show you. I like that he literally says I'm manipulating you right now. Okay, sure. He points at someone in the crowd and smiles. The man sees his pointing and smiles back. That guy there? He's with Ayers Macro Technology, enormous megacorp, ridiculously powerful. They've been sniffing around Project Ages for, a qu for quite a while now. Clearly, they have an agenda that's just starting to unfold. He gives the heirs man the finger. The man smiles and returns the gesture. Government, media, business, all working to ensure the truth stays hidden. Uh, so it's a massive conspiracy? I wish it was. In a way, it's worse. It's a series of conspiracies, conflicting agendas, and petty jealous jealousies. Uh, all building upon, feeding upon, and excreting into an unending web of dreck that people wade through every day and call it life. If there was one Dark Lord controlling everything and we could drive a magic sword through his heart to free the world, that would be grand. Such clarity, such focus, alas. Um, so what's the lesson in all of this? That I did all of it for nothing? Where's her Brock house? I thought he'd be here. Let's do the first one. He laughs, just the opposite schmuck. The lesson is this, the game is rigged, the cards are stacked, the dice are loaded. It's the same as it always has. Every cycle, people in power exert power. Little people power in their homes, think what they're told to think, and buy whatever product will help them forget how horrible their lives are for another day. This is this is like a 2010 game, I, I keep forgetting about that. But this is like new deep stuff back in the day. And that's why we don't play their fragging game. We don't swallow their dark sandwich and politely ask for another. It's why we run the shadows. That's where li that's where real life is, kiddo. Re Reality is living in the places no one wants you to see. All right, where's where's the German dude? He flew back to Berlin. All sorts of things brewing there. Ha, huh, get it, brewing, German. He was very impressed with you, though. It could probably turn into work someday, but I'd forget about him if I were you. Never make a deal with a dragon kid. They're playing a different game entirely. Okay, seriously, who are you? <laughs> a friend. Right. Until I need you for something, then I'm a bastard. Okay, sure. Alright, let's save because we talked a lot. <laughs> I want to go through all that again. Alright, let's save here. Oh my, it's, it's, it keeps adding, it keeps adding more auto saves and it keeps like growing the list. All right, that's, what's McCluskey have to say now? Is he going to be pissed? McCluskey is alternating between trying to look important and trying to avoid actual work. What are you looking at, Chube? Uh, your shoe's untied. Trick him so you can cold cock him. Hey, McCluskey, I just spoke to Mr. Telestrian. He said you got your lieutenant's badge. McCluskey beams, then his brow furrows. I did? I didn't hear about it. Yep, he said to go down to the station house right away. 
They're throwing a surprise party for you. Oh shit, I shouldn't have said anything. He smirks. <laughs> I'll surprise them then. Did we just make him leave? Okay, sure. He's gonna be pissed though. Here's Jake. We haven't seen Jake in a while. Jake shakes his head smirking as you approach. When you finally get close, he breaks out laughing. I heard the, you know, the Brotherhood was getting shot up uh, on the police scanner. Knew it had to Knew it had to be you. Did you get He scratches his mop red hair. I guess that concludes the story of Ambrix and the dead man's switch, huh? You know, I've been thinking maybe you should always stay in Seattle a while. There's plenty of ways folks like us can get into trouble here. You only skimmed the surface. Wait, I just realized I thought I was supposed to get paid by Sam's dead body or whatever. How how was Jake supposed to pay me anyways? Did he mention that he was going to pay me through through James, the Telestrian guy that just paid me? Because he paid me 100,000 bucks, which is how much was it was Sam, Sam supposed to pay me, right? I, I don't remember, honestly. Whatever. Uh... Uh, I think I just, yeah, I just read that. I heard Mitsuhama is looking for a team, and they specifically Crater Lake. The tears got it on total lockdown. No fly zone, the whole thing. There could be something in it for us if we poke around. And there's always the orc underground. Haven't seen that yet, have you? I got plenty of friends there who are good for our job. Something's about bound to come up. What do you say? Sure. Good, we can hash it out over dinner. If you're gonna go find me... I'll be at McCracken's later. Got a taste for some seafood. Take it easy, Chamber. Wait. So is it actually going to give me a quest later? Here, he's dressed and I haven't seen him in a while either. The little coroner is surprised to see you, but he can't hide his delight. Yeah, Brix, I was wondering if I was going to see you again. I guess I shouldn't be surprised to find you here. Whenever there's mayhem, that's where you'll find me. <clears throat> I guess so. He pops his eyebrow eager. You know, it's all over the trivet, right? They found the Emerald City Ripper dead at some asylum out in the Snohomish, of all places. Turns out he'd been masquerading as the head administrator or something. They found him dead from some sort of vigilante attack. He leans in, whispers, cons conspira conspiratorial. I don't know. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? How do you, how do you even say that word? Cons conspita conspiratoriality? I don't know. Uh... Mmm, a vigilant attack, huh? Wow. I know, it's fascinating, isn't it? Well, no one can say he didn't have it coming. Am I right? He frowns at himself. That was double. That was a double negative. Well, no one can say he didn't see it coming. That was a double negative. Okay. So the big question, what about the dead man switch? Now that the Ripper's dead, are you going to collect? Oh, okay, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I need to still. I still need to collect. Where's the rest of my money? Damn right, I'm gonna collect. Excellent, I'm sure you deserve it. How do you collect? I was told I need to secure a line to call the number Sam gave me. Can't use my comm link. Oh, yeah, I think he, I think I remember his, him saying something like that. Sure. He brightens. Lone Star's emergency response team set up a secure phone line right here to coordinate their efforts. I can authorize you to use it. Oh, dope. Okay, sure. Thanks, bro. Don't mention it. Take care. Alright, where's uh oh, there's the phone right here. Let's say before we do that. Just in case I fuck something up or the game freezes as classic usual. Uh the phone before you has a simple numeric keypad. You can use it to call Sam's law firm and cash in on Dead Man's switch. Yes, please. You tap into the phone number Sam hold on. You tap into the phone number Sam's lawyer gave you days ago. The phone rings seven times before someone finally answers. The image of the lawyer on the other end of the vid phone is noticeably different from the one you saw a few days ago. The noise in the background sounds like it's coming from a bar. Oh my god, I just realized that this is going to be like some type of fucking... Oh wait, you still need to do something else before you collect or something. Yeah, he squints into the phone and recognition slowly appears in his face. Oh hey, it's you, Ambrix, right? So you got Sam's killer, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I got Sam's killer. That's, that's great. Hang on. Let me slot Sam's video for you. He fumbles for a moment and the camera jerks crazily. Then it goes to static and is replaced by Sam. Good old Sam. Oh, he's going to be like, oh, I, I just fucking, I just fucking played you. I'm not going to pay you. He's going to, he's going to say that, isn't he? 
Sam still looks like Drek. The same clothes, same background. Probably shot the same time as the first video. Hey buddy, looking good, looking good. He giggles. <laughs> if you're calling this number, that means the job is done, right? He closes his eyes, shakes his head. Congratulations, Abigo. I knew you'd do it. You're always a dependable one. More than me, anyway. He looks back at you, trying to speak so, so relieved. I just want to say thank you for whatever you did. It means a lot. Not even knowing what you did, it still means a lot. Because I know you did something. You know what I mean? I, I know you made it, right? Somehow. Okay. He pauses, tilts his head back. His breath hitches in his chest. You're the only one. Uh, the only one who ever gave a... Whoever tried to help me, ever. Except my sister. She tried more than once. She tried. I never let her, though. Never let her in. I, I regret that a lot. Did I ever tell you about... Did I ever tell you about her, buddy? We're twins. We're twins, I guess. You're still a twin after one of you dies. I don't know. It doesn't matter, I guess. He sighs heavy. God, listen. Do me a favor, will you? If you talk to her, her name is Jessica. Tell her I'm sorry, okay? For everything. She'll know what for. She's a Catholic, so she'll forgive me. I, I need her to forgive me. Just tell her I love her. He strains himself, shakes it off. That grain is back. Anyway, you need to get paid. Which would which would be great, except for one thing. I got nothing. Never did. You know how it is, right? Sorry, but hey, thanks again for giving a crap. Seriously, I appreciate it. Oh, dude, I knew he wasn't going to pay me. <laughs> Classic. Classic, Sam. Tell you what, if you feel sore about it, look into my family's background a bit. There's got to be people with money in there somewhere. Maybe one of them can throw a few bucks. Take care of me. Go see you in hell. I mean, I did, didn't I save Jessica? He reaches forward and shuts off the camera. The vid screen goes to static and the call ends. There's a moment of silence and then you feel a tug on your jacket. It's Justin. So, what did he say? Uh, he just said thank you. I guess let's not be super bitter about it since we kind of knew that was going to happen. Plus, we did get paid. Holy fuck, did I just finish the game? <laughs> the Emerald City Ripper killings are sensationalized for several weeks. Lured... Lurid reports focus on the killer masquerading as the administrator of Mercy Mental Hospital. Soon after, pop singer Maria Mercurial is cast as the lead in Dr. Ripper, a trivia thriller about a reporter who goes undercover as a mental patient to uncover a serial killer. Seattle News Net reports a shootout at the chapter house of the Brotherhood. Witnesses claim that a gang of religious fanatics stormed the building for unknown reasons, but committed suicide before they could be captured. All mention of insect spirits, James Telestrian III or Shadowrunners are kept out of the news. One year later, the city of Chicago declares a quarantine area between Lake Michigan and the Des Plaines River. Officially, the Chicago containment zone is established to fight an outbreak of infectious virus. But an Infestation of insect spirits is suspected by those who know. A mature form of Project Ages called Fabs 3 is eventually deployed to remove the bug threat from Chicago. The Watts family name has since been lost to the shadows. Bro, what the fuck? I got 21 karma points, a hundred thousand fucking dollarinos, and I got I don't I don't get I don't get to use any of it? Bro, that's some bull that is some real bullshit right there. What is this game? Oh my god, well whatever. Actually I, I think the best reward was honestly finish finishing up this game. After after yes yesterday's fight, that was That was just fucking cruel dude. <laughs> I cannot believe I didn't realize that I could have used aim that whole time just to increase my my shot at just killing the bug in four, four turns without missing. I'm gonna rename this episode... Final... Final episode. Alright, I'm gonna move on to the, the next game that I actually want to play now. <laughs> I mean, okay, like, I guess some final thoughts about this. Um, final thoughts. Like I said, it's an okay game. This game was okay. Um, I'm sure it was like the bee's knees like 10, 10 years ago. This this game's like 10 years old, I think. But I, I never played it before, so I just had heard that it was good because like I like Fallout and shit like that, so. It was okay. Uh, the combat wasn't too bad when it actually worked. Um, it was fine. I did like the variety of like being able to like hire different classes and stuff. That was neat. 
all the bugs and glitches were bullshit. I was dumb. I'm kind of pissed that I didn't get to use the flush cover at all, even though I unlocked it for SMGs. Um, I'm glad I didn't start as a shaman, because <laughs> that that would have been rough. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, is the story was okay. Um, all the grammar was, you know, it was interesting to like run into a bunch of grammar errors and spelling errors and stuff. That was that was kind of funny. But then again, we also just played Fallout Sonora, which was like a rough, really rough translation. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it for now. Um, I think I'll I'll try having some more uh, closing thoughts every time I finish a game. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I I usually talk about it on the next game I play, anyways, like I'm doing right now for Fallout. Okay, well, I will start a new stream then with um, Pathfinder: Wrath of the Righteous. Uh, I'm probably just gonna like look at. I'm gonna just do the same thing that I do like every game. I'll look at some like quick tips, like be like beginner quick tips, like no spoilers, but just like some maybe some things to keep in mind that like character creation and general gameplay stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna try not to look up anything because I like doing blind runs, um, unless it's like something that I don't know, like as far as like mechanics, uh, like. I don't know, like what a word means or like in-game lore or something. Um, anyways, yeah, I'll, I'll start the game now, so I'll see you guys uh, there. All right, peace.